so this is the Garmin R10 launch monitor, is by far one of the most popular launch monitors around. It gives me a ton of information, like ball launch conditions, speed, distance, carry, spin, and a whole lot more. It even acts as a simulator. Now the Garmin R10 comes in at $599. And this is a professional indoor golf simulator. And it gives me a ton of information on ball launch conditions, spin, club head data, and so much more. It is recognized in the industry as a trusted source for accurate information but it also comes with a price tag of $50,000. So today, I'm gonna to test out the Garmin R10 launch monitor, which is this small and a fraction of the price is as accurate as this $50,000 simulator. So let's get to it. So what the Garmin R10 gives you is carry distance, swing speed, ball speed, ball spin, smash factor, which is a calculation of swing speed and ball speed, launch angle, and more. Now, this is all displayed on your mobile device, either Android or iOS, and you can either put your phone or your iPad or whatever you'd like. And it can even automatically record audio. And what is really cool is that Garmin Connect app allows you to play up to 42,000 courses using the E6 Connect. For indoor use, you'll need to have the ball eight feet away from the net or screen. Now usually 10 to 12 feet is recommended. And the unit itself would be another six to eight feet from behind the ball. And all you have to do is align the red line of the Garmin R10 to where the ball is at. Now, there's a radar within the unit that tracks the shot. What I'm going to do is test and see how it compares to what I know is a very trustworthy device, this $50,000 simulator. So I'm going to do a practice session. I'm going to hit three clubs, my 9-iron, my 7-iron, and my driver. And we're going to see how the Garmin R10 works at $599 and just how accurate it is indoors. On this first shot, my 9-iron, the Garmin R10 showed 139 yards in carry while the sim showed 142 yards of carry. So that's about three yards, which is pretty darn close. On the second shot with my nine iron, the Garmin R10 showed 137 yards of carry, and the sim was 136.5. Now half a yard, and of all the testing I've done so far with any unit, I have not been this close on a shot. On this third shot with the Garmin R10, it's showing 149 yards of carry, while the sim showed 150.8. So about point, what is that, point two? That's, that's insane, that's that dead accurate. On this fourth shot, it's a little bit of a miss it for me, and the carry on the Garmin R10 was showing 124 yards, while the sim was showing 129, so five yards. That's pretty good considering that it was a miss hit. And on this last shot, the Garmin R10 showed 123 yards of carry, while the sim showed 119.6 yards of carry. So that's about a little under four yards. Again, I'm really just blown away at how close the Garmin R10 is with the simulator. On this first shot, my seven iron, I simply just crushed the ball, but I also kind of lost a little bit of control in the process. Now the Garmin R10 is showing 175 yards, while the simulator is showing 170.2, so about a 4.8 yard difference, and that's, that's pretty close. On the second shot, the Garmin R10 showed 159 yards, while the sim showed 158, so a one yard difference. To me, that's just insane that it is that close. I just haven't seen this before. This third shot was definitely a miss hit. The Garmin R10 showed 110 yards for the seven iron, but what's surprising is the sim showed 109 for the miss hit. So even on miss hits, they do come in pretty close and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. On this fourth shot, the Garmin R10 showed 146, while the simulator showed 149. So a three yard difference. And again, that's way within tolerance in my book. On this last shot, I just crushed it again. I wanted to see how far I really could hit my seven iron. And with the Garmin R10, it showed 171 yards, while the sim showed 174.3 yards. So a little over three yard difference. And to be honest, I'm so impressed with how close the Garmin R10 is with the simulator when it comes to seven iron. Next up is the driver. Now, based on how the nine and seven iron did, I really couldn't wait to see how this thing turned out. 
Now on this first shot, the R10 showed a carry of 226 yards, while the Sim showed 240 yards. And to be honest, to be 14 yards off, I was a little surprised. So I shot another ball. On this second shot, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 221 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 247 yards, so off by 26 yards. I wasn't really sure what was going on at this point, so I shot the ball one more time and I started keeping a better eye on the launch angle to see if that had a problem with what was happening. On this third shot, the R10 showed 211, while the Sim showed 238.8. So again, it's off by over 20 yards. And looking at the launch angles, the R10 was showing 12 and a half degrees, while the Sim was showing 16.3 degrees. So it looked as though something was going on with the R10 trying to figure out the launch angle of the ball. On this fourth shot, the R10 showed 220, with a launch angle of 8.4, and the Sim showed 212 yards of carry with a launch angle of 10.4. So here the launch angle was closer to each other and the yardage was only off by 10 yards. So I thought I'd hit it one more time just to see what was happening. On this fifth shot, the Garmin R10 was showing 233 yards while the Sim showed 261 yards in carry. So again, more than 20 yards off. And I noticed again that the launch angle was showing a 12 degrees on the R10 and a 16.5 on the sim. So after this, I try to figure out what was happening. So the first thing I did is I tried calibrating the unit, which I read online was what a lot of people try to do at first using the Garmin Golf app. After that, I tried moving the unit back further, back to seven feet behind the ball instead of six feet for where it was as well, thinking that had something to do with the launch angle issue. I even tried putting metal golf stickers on the ball, but nothing really seemed to work. While I love the Garmin R10, I think I need to do a little more research to see why it's not accurate with the driver. So big thanks to our friends at Indoor Golf Design for allowing us to use our $50,000 simulator. This thing is awesome. All right, so to be honest, I'm blown away by the accuracy of the Garmin R10. My seven iron and my nine iron were so close. They were even less than five yards, which just blows my mind. So this is a huge win for the Garmin R10. I mean, it's $599. However, I'm really surprised that I wasn't able to get an accurate reading on my driver. So I need to do a little more research to figure out why that was. I even actually ordered the RCT ball from Titleist to see if that even helps. But leave your comments down below if you've had this problem or ways that you figured out how to fix it. But overall, I'm really impressed with this device. I would highly recommend it to anyone out there. It has so many cool features, and for $599, it's really hard to beat. Now, I got mine from our good friends at playbetter.com. They're huge supporters of the show, so there's links down below so you can check it out. But if you're looking for a launch mar that's super accurate indoors, then check out this video right here. I'll see you in the next video.